welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you my vintage skateboard hoodie collection because I got a lot of them, as you can see. I got a few hoodies. We all have a few hoodies. It's a staple part of everyone's wardrobe. I'm saving the best for last, so watch to the end. skateboard tees, I collect skateboards, I collect skateboard hoodies, I collect skateboard anything. And if you don't know me, now you know, okay? So I collect skateboard hoodies. Today I'm showing you my full collection of skate hoodies. If you want to know the history of the hoodie, I did a little video on it uh, a while back. Go check it out. I'll try to link it in the comments below. I'll link it in the comments below. Go check that out. Okay, before we get into this video, give it a thumbs up everybody. Who's sick of people doing that in videos? Who's sick of people saying, give them a thumbs up? But you know what? I do appreciate it, so give me a thumbs up. Okay, let's get into this. I collect all kinds of skate hoodies. On the top of my pile, I have a Warp Tour 1997 hoodie. Warp Tour, what tag is this on? Warp Tour was a concert series, but it was like punk rock, rock and roll. They usually had mini ramps, or not mini ramps, they had vert ramps set up where people would be shredding at the concerts. It was super cool. I went to one in, in Vancouver. It must have been like when I went, it was like 2005. But um, yeah, Warp Tour. XL on the jersey tag, 97. Sick flame graph. Let me tell you what bands were at this. Well, it doesn't even say the bands because it probably had different bands at each stop. But it's got the skateboard on the Warp Tour um, graphic there. Pretty dope one. I'm into it. I'm into it. Okay, here's a Warp Tour. 2003 hoodie on a Gildan. And it's got the dope back hit again. All the tour dates. Doesn't have the bands because they probably changed. They probably changed for each stop. Um, they probably had a few headliners and then each stop was different bands. Okay, I got some zip hoodies. Everyone loves a good zip hoodie. Spitfire. I gotta move like this. Spitfire zip hoodie embroidery over the zipper. Super dope. Spitfire tag. I think this one has a sleeve hit. Yeah, Spitfire wheels on the sleeve. Classic. The infamous zipper hoodie. It comes in and out of style now and again. Um, I think it's coming back in style, the zipper hoodie. So heed my warning. Another Spitfire. Nicely worn in, paint stains all over. Just a small embroidered hit there. On the Lee Heavyweight, you will see that a lot of the hoodies back in that day were on the Lee Heavyweight tag. Classic. Another one on the Lee Heavyweight tag. This one has a name on it. Digiacomb. Digiacomb? That's a weird name. Thrasher embroidered on the forest green. Classic 90s colorway. All right, let's keep it going here. Okay, I got a bunch of shorties. So many shorties hoodies. I also did a full video on shorties stuff. Um, so check that out. So I'm gonna run through these, but if you wanna see the whole shorties collection, t-shirts and all, go check out that video. Shorties tag, medium. This is the... Uh, sleeve hits one but it's an alternate font this is like the gothic font sleeve hits one this is actually this is a shorty skateboards um similar to the shorty snowboards logo they did this is actually the shorty snowboards logo i was gonna do a whole different video on my snowboard sweaters but this one made it in there so go check out my snowboard hoodie video shorties with the sleeves cut off. Owned by Muska himself. Actually, I have no idea, but he did like to cut off his sleeves. I asked Muska to come on the podcast and I got no reply. I would love to have Muska on the podcast. Uh, so 
spam his account and say, yo, Muska, get on the Vintage and Stuff podcast with Drew Heifetz. Classic logo. Okay, this is the uh, sleeve hits one with the font that everybody knows. So they're, Shorties is coming back and you can buy this hoodie again. You can't buy the original. This is the original. Well, you can if you can find someone who has it. This one's sick, classic, super famous. I need the Shorties logo tee or sweat that folds up to say fuck off. If anybody can find that for me, hit me up, please. Classic Shorties hardware. This is a crew neck. I got a few crew necks that slipped in the mix here. Oh crap. This is double up on the uh, sleeve hit. Horty. Pair of pants slipped in the mix here. Thrasher pants. These ones aren't super old. But they have the destroy down the leg. Skate. What does it say on this one? Skate and destroy. Super sick. Okay, throwing it back to the 80s on this one. Vision Streetwear, size medium. It has the cement print inside the hood. Front hit, big back hit. Sort of a crop style. Smaller size for ladies. Okay, moving along. I got a big pile here. Vans. Crew neck, embroidered hit, classic. Lee tag again. Alpha Numeric. Who remembers this brand? Big sleeve hit on this guy. Um, yeah, this was a dope brand. I don't know if they're still around. It says Alpha Numeric. Environmental Protection Company, which they probably were not at all an environmental protection company. So that's kind of random. It's got this detail on the hood too. Okay, alphanumeric. I have some other stuff from them, like some jerseys. They did like more kind of like yoed out skate gear. Um, I don't know if they're still around. My one DC sweatshirt. Classic, big sewn on patch on the back. OG tag, just made in America. I don't even know. But it's rad. DC from the heyday. Okay, what do I got here? I have two of these. Two of these on the Hawk tag. Tony Hawk. Classic bird skull. Tony Hawk sleeve hit there. Tony Hawk sleeve hit there. Super heavyweight hoodie. Classic bird hit. on the hawk tag see this isn't even that old i don't i don't know when that tag is from but i'm gonna say like early 2000s another one on the hawk tag same exact hoodie double sleeve hit so that's this is the second double i have the shorty sleeve hit the tony hawk doubled up i was gonna um sell one of those tony hawks if anybody wants one you can hit me up we'll see if we can make a deal maddox I actually won this one in a raffle from Chris, 1980-something co. Shout out Chris, XL Maddox, embroidered. Uh, suit, embroidered silk screen. This is like, this has like a mixed media. Okay, this is a good one. Classic chocolate hoodie. Heather Gray, tag's like super done, but it was a chocolate tag. Um, yeah, this one's sick. That's like the only chocolate hoodie I have. Another crew neck, Volcom. Um, I remember when Volcom was popping off in like 90, 98, 99. Uh, I used, me and my homies used to really beast on it for snowboarding. And they always did these, cool, back then they did these cool, like random side hits or armpit hits. And you know what? It's just a small little armpit hit, but it's the details that count and it made them like, I don't know, it made it more desirable. It's like, whoa, you're doing something different. All you had to do was put a hit in the armpit and we beasted on it as kids. Built Boarding Tough in the USA. That's kind of dope. Built Boarding Tough in the USA Volcom tag. Terrier was on Volcom. They had good snowboarders. I don't even really know much about the skate team because I was so on the snowboard scene back then. Black Flies. This is eye an eyewear company. Skateboard, snowboard, eyewear company. Black Flies tags. 
one of my first pro snowboards was a it wasn't even pro deck i think it was just a team deck or something but it's black Flies snowboard they made snowboards and uh it just had this pit this big picture the whole board was this girl in lingerie and i was like 13 when i bought this board i bought it like it wasn't even a good size for me it was a stupid purchase but it had a girl in lingerie on it so i was like yeah i gotta have that board anyway a couple cool this is a black fly zipper hoodie super rad and then i have also in red this black flies pullover again black flies tag cool back hit at the bottom of the back love this one okay this one just uh came out recently fresh pick santa cruz again on the lee heavyweight on the lee heavyweight santa cruz skateboards it has the sleeve hit these little sleeve details are what's up i'm all about it this one also is thrown back probably to like early 90s i i forget the they called it the airwalk one or something anyway cool pullover hoodie but with the open bottom it's got the airwalk hit there uh two-tone big airwalk on the back dope hoodie love this one even the zipper like it's got the airwalk on the zip okay moving along black label barcode super dope um Again, I don't have a lot of black label stuff. Old tag. It's got the, it's kind of hashed out. It's kind of thrash cord, but what do you expect from a skate hoodie? Come on. Independent. On and another Lee heavyweight tag. So we see a pattern here, guys. We see a pattern. Independent classic. Okay, I got a couple workshop hoodies. Check out that one. I'm gonna do a close up because Alien Workshop deserves it. 2001 Global Takeover. Then we got this one, which I believe, actually, I don't know the date. I feel like it's a bit older, but I could be wrong. And the Royal Blue. Then this classic logo. This one is more modern, I think. Classic Alien logo. Um, I got a lot of Alien Workshop tees too, so I'll do a separate video on that. Okay, let's get into some of the better stuff, some of my more favorite stuff. All right. Okay, Zero. Man, there's not a lot of Zero stuff out there. Tom Yeto tag. Um, don't know the exact age of this, but don't have a lot of vintage Zero stuff, so stoked on that. Got a few blind here. Line on this Reaper tag. It's like this hand drawn logo. It's got the Reaper on the sleeve hit. I have another blind Reaper fully embroidered, big front embroider hit. This one's on the side out tag. So I don't know, that might be like a bootleg or something, but either way, I'm into it. Another blind printed reaper with two different sleeve hits okay this one i really love this is super old og look at the style on this this is an open bottom sort of zipper crew with just the low-key blind embroidery there on this blind tag but it's cool the blind tag says el segundo hat ink so it's like licensed by some other company a couple more left a couple more to go a couple more to go Dark Star. Super dope Dark Star. Super sun faded out. This one is rad. Then I still have a couple hookups crew necks left. Or sorry, hookups hoodies. Nurse on the forest green. It's got the net cut a bit. I'll probably be selling these soon, so stay tuned for that. And I have hookups crosshairs tag neo devil man neo devil man okay and that is it for the hoodie collection thank you for watching go check out my other videos like this video give it a thumbs up and 
I'll see you on the next one.